Oh, if you're here, you survived. You are a survivor, and I think you should get you one of those little tattoos. It says, I survived the 2024 very non-climactic solar eclipse. But I did see the solar eclipse, and it was awesome. Today, we got a big show for you today. Margaret will be here shortly. She had to pick up something, something for all of us. So we'll see when she gets here. Uh, we've got conjoined twins, Abby Hensel and Brittany. They were married. There's some drama going on there. Now they're back in the media. I don't think it's so much drama, but it got me peaked to see what is actually going on with these married conjoined twins. I'm fully fascinated. You guys know if you've listened to the show long enough, I have a huge weird obsession with twins and conjoined twins. I didn't even think about that. So we'll jump into it. Also, Morgan Whalen, three felonies and a misdemeanor in Nashville, the city of love, the sunshine state, Tennessee. We'll get into that. Is comedy back? Is it still dead? Will it ever be the same? Uh, Jay's really, Jay and Margaret are back from Virginia from their comedy tour. We're going to chat a lot about that. Uh, all this and more on today's Uncuffed Monday. See you soon. the growing calls across the nation to defund the police. To end policing as we know it. Off the charts violence in New York City. 11 people shot in just eight hours on Sunday. This is Sunday. about the police officers, officers who every single day put on that uniform and they run towards danger when we run away from it. Oh, welcome to the welcome to the Failure to Stop podcast channel, the number one channel where first responders go to be informed and entertained five days a week. True crime on Tuesdays, society and culture on Mondays tonight, political news on Wednesdays, sports on Thursdays, case breakdowns on Fridays. And uh, yeah, so it's a good day. We had the uh, solar eclipse. Did you, Did you see it? Yeah, I got the glasses and everything. Did you? you bought glasses? I didn't buy glasses, no. But I'm kind of glad my, what you made, John. No, the neighbors had them from, I think they got them from a, a uh, movie theater. No, <laughs> yeah, got the movie theater ones. Uh, Some people I saw people bro, they be burning their eyes. Little, the little three D joints that they, they got from the movie theater be burning their <laughs> eyeballs out. No, these are like welding glasses. I mean, I don't know. They were on the Amazon. Mm. Um, I think they got them from G the the community college up the road. I'm not exactly sure where they got them, but uh, our neighbors we were all out in our lawn chairs, kind of tailgating for it, watching it. I looked at it; it was cooler than I thought it was going to be. Did it get real darky? <laughs> No, get real dark, not real dark, but when you looked at the the shadowing of the, the eclipse, the solar eclipse thing, that was pretty cool, I think. Uh, but I'm glad everybody. Um, I watched it on the news. I didn't actually go outside and stand and look up. And people was talking about uh, putting it on a mirror and look, don't look at it directly. And I mean, I, yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, I look. You look at the sun. Yeah. You look directly at the sun, and, and you, you, sometimes you have to do that. You have to put your hand up because yeah, yeah. you can't look directly at the sun without wincing and all that. So the eclipse, you know, is supposed to make it darker or whatever. What, how is it supposed to fuck up your eyesight? I, I don't understand that. Well, I don't I don't know, but I mean, I think like last year, some guys stared at it for like six minutes. Mm -hmm. Or not last year, but the last eclipse, some guys still like went completely blind from it. Man, he had <laughs> his eyes, he had neuropathy in his eyeballs. <laughs> that's all that was. He had glaucoma. <laughs> he wanted to blame it on some shit. He, yeah, needs one of those, uh, he needed to make a mecha whip sandwich. <laughs> yes. Dude, so you yeah. have <laughs> my <laughs> uncle, man, that is crazy, man. You know, I, I like grilling out i grill out throw a chicken on the grill you know for dinner just throw a chicken on the grill and my uncles i have two uncles that i take care of because they are um they need living assistance so uh, oliver oliver you know lovable everybody loves oliver he worked at mcdonald's for like 25 years he was like the real uh, uh ronald mcdonald yeah. You know what I'm saying? He welcomed people to all that stuff. Well, I bet he wore the hat yeah. and the uniform perfectly. Yeah, too. you know, he was, hi, my name is Oliver. Welcome to McDonald's. And you'd be like, that's so corny, but okay. Right, right. but, you, but know, like, you know Oliver's pretty special, like right when you meet him. Like, right, you know. right, right. Very kind. I mean, don't say bad things about you. I mean, no. always, he, it's not a stranger he ha he don't know. And what I try to do is I take him almost everywhere I go. So, you know, he he go and people just love him. I started doing videos and I just 
kind of got tired of doing the videos on Facebook. It won't go. On, I ain't gonna say it won't go nowhere, but my little circle, everybody knew all. Yeah. So I was like, man, the other day we was grilling out, and him and his brother Craig, my uncle, other uncle, he's very shy, and I they wanted to drink. They was like, hey, we want some beer, you know. And I was like, okay, you know. So we got had a twelve pack. That that's messed up. This ain't enough. We next time we need to get a twenty four pack. I was like, damn. I said, hey, all of them. Where's that Crown Royal at? That you, I got you for your birthday. He went and got it. He had over a half a bottle. Oh my god! And I ain't drink none. I was like, no, nah, I ain't, ain't messing right. with no Crown tonight, you know. And they drank the whole bottle. They drank the rest of that and a half a bottle of something, some pink gas station liquor yeah. that my sister bought. Boot, bootlegger. Yeah, boot, probably was, but it was pink. Right. And they mixed that and drank that on an empty stomach. Oh. They didn't even get to eat. And them jokers was toe up. And we were sitting there talking about food, and Oliver went off on, 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 on something. And I was like, hold up. Let me get the camera. Say that again. <laughs> what what, what we did he say? In. It was like make a whip sandwich? Yeah, he was trying to say, basically, he was talking about how back in the day, granddaddy used to, my, our, my granddaddy, right. his daddy, uh, would make a tomato sandwich. It'd be tomato with lettuce, and he'll put Miracle Whip. Right. Mayonnaise, he yeah. man, man, you know, mayonnaise, miracle whip, ma right. mayonnaise, and miracle whip are two different things. Yeah, and he would say mayonnaise, mayonnaise, and he'd say we're, um, uh, he'd say uh, what do you say? Make a whip, make a whip, yeah, make yeah. a whip. And I was like, what? Huh? And yeah. and I'm just joking with it because it's funny. I know I what he's saying, and he just he and you know I don't have no teeth, so he was like, man, you know, it ain't got no teeth like that. And it was just we just kept on going, and then he was talking about hot dogs. He jumped the hot dog. He said, yeah, I remember. Dad used to give me twenty dollars, and I would go get ten hot dogs. I said, man, you can't eat ten hot dogs. He said, no, he would give me three, and he uh, he would eat uh, give Craig three. I said, I said, okay, that's six. Where was the other four? He said, oh, and great, and Daddy ate three. So there was one left. <laughs> Your math ain't that no. He said, oh, daddy ate the other one too, you know. <laughs> and we just, it was funny. And it went viral on TikTok. He got, we, I think we pushing almost, and it's only been 20, less than right at 20, 24 hours. And he already got like yeah, almost, 123,000. Yeah, I, like, I just looked at it. It's close to 200,000. Yeah, and so. people are people are responding. So they many comments. Him. Yeah, they so love funny, him. Dude. They love him. I always like seeing him. I've seen him on his bicycle. Is it Tim on his yeah, bicycle? That's him, yeah, a few well, times. two of them. Right. He's the fatter one. He's a little right, yeah. fatter one. I call him, my uncle Craig, and my dad, I call them the three stooges. Yeah. Because they, they, they he and Oliver remind me of Curly. Yeah, he he normally used he used to keep his head bald, you know, because yeah. he didn't like. He was like, man, I just cut it all off. I ain't got to worry about combing it, you know. Yeah, but see, yeah. that's so funny that he worked yeah. at McDonald's. I would have loved to have gone to McDonald's. We got a lot of people in the live chat today. We got Johnny Miracle Whip is my favorite. Oh God, <laughs> gross! Uh, it's Duke's mayonnaise in my house or bust. Uh, Falconator Tyler asks. Uh, says he just finished the pollen interview with Sean Ryan. It was good. Maybe I'll listen to that tomorrow. Got a nice little drive ahead of me. Uh, speaking of driving, uh, I'll be at the Tim Pool Compound on 420. Then we'll be uh, in Virginia the weekend after that with Jonathan Emord. And then May 2nd, we will be down in Florida. Everybody's invited. Mulligans uh, in uh, Orlando, just outside of Orlando, Kissimmee. Uh, Orlando. It'll be a Thursday night, uh, say 7 p.m. It's uh, after the police week with the uh, street cop training group. Uh, there's going to be lots of people there. Conservative Anthony's going to be there. Big live podcast at Mulligan's Irish Pub. It's going to be all first responders, mostly cops, because it'll be right out outside the cop cover. Brought to you by the Anti Hero Podcast, which they are absolutely crushing it. If you haven't listened to their newest podcast out about uh, exposing Marcus Luttrell, um, you know, that was a very hard hard, hard podcast for me to listen to because I'm a big old Marcus Luttrell. I mean, I was a Lone Survivor fan. I like the movie. I like the story. So it cut me like a knife to get their take on it. But uh, go listen to it. Listen, it's a, my jujitsu gym. There was like 20 dudes talking about it at the gym. Everybody's everybody's talking about this. Uh, even Danny Dietz that, that died in there. I think his, his wife our, our widow, uh, she uh, shared the uh, shared the video out and things like that. So uh, they're making headway. So check them out, Anti Hero Podcast. And uh, that guy Ryan eighty nine says he's incredibly excited for the Florida meetup. I am too. Listen, I'm going to try to get my liver in shape because uh, you know it's the last day of a conference and Friday's a half day, as Tyler puts it. 
Um, and so, you know, if it's a half day, don't be a bitch. You gotta, you gotta go hard the night before. So it looks like we'll, we'll probably go and be, we're, we're probably going pretty hard that night. Not as hard as Morgan Whalen in Nashville this weekend, not going that hard. If you haven't heard that story, Morgan Whalen arrested and charged with three felonies and one misdemeanor. Oh, Margaret. Nice of you to join us tonight. Hey, Margaret. You oh, to. you brought some donuts. I always say if you're going to be late, you better be uh, coming with some donuts or have a good sex story and some pictures to share. Yeah, that was always my rule. Damn. Which one you want, dog? Uh, I want the hole. The one with the hole. They both have fucking holes. You want chocolate or cream? Get the vanilla. You get, get the you the vanilla. Get the vanilla. Oh, we're going to okay. switch it up? Let's switch it up. You know I like you. Which one you want, Martin? I'll, I'll take the... Whichever you don't no, take. which one you don't want? Have you had Listen, chocolate I, lately? I love donuts. I'll eat any donuts. Have you had any chocolate lately? No. Get your chocolate. Today. Okay. I'll go get my chocolate. That seems racist. But but, uh, seems a little racist. You know what would be good? Just bad boy. If you had a microwave here, we want Oh, it. yeah. Microwave we it up a little bit. When they come off the off that <clears> thing on belt. Yeah. And they hot. All you got to do is just crush it a little bit and put stick the whole. Yeah, Krispy Kreme definitely has the best donut, especially oh, when they're hot. Oh. Um, I did a contest when I was a cop, and uh, it was how many donuts could you eat? Mm -hmm. And I got four. I, I don't think I finished the fourth. A donut? And let me tell you what, I was sick the rest of the day. And Sarge yeah. wouldn't let me go home. I eat a whole day. Whole I eat a whole See, I said that. Especially I was like, dude, I could eat. I was like, yo, I could, that's how it all started. I was like, bro, I could eat a whole dozen of hot Krispy Kremers. And they were like, no, you couldn't, dude. You're full of shit. So they're like, we're going to go get a dozen Krispy Kremers. Let's see how many you can you can get. I thought like I could at least, I mean, I thought I could push myself to 12, but I knew I could at least get like six or eight. Man, bro, I got to like I four and was like, uh, I, I don't know. I was feeling real sick. Wow. Uh, after, uh, I don't even think I finished the fourth anyway. I can really eat six before I even take a swallow of Pepsi or something. Yeah. The, <laughs> the, um, the Eclipse, they were out of those. That would have been perfect. Right. Because Yeah, you said you were going to get the Eclipse donuts yeah. and you drove a couple. Now, listen, you just said wash it down with a Pepsi? Mm -hmm. Bro, ain't you got like diabetes or something? Yeah, yeah, but I don't drink no milk. That's how I was going to get, that's how you get diabetes. Uh-uh. Do you know how much sugar diabetes? is this? The diabetes. The fuck is a diabetes? Are you worse? Are you, you worse no, than that's Oliver? You said. No, it's not. It's <laughs> you worse than my said? uncle Oliver. Diabetes. 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 No, I said diabetic. I said diabetes. So what is that? The diabetes. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Oh. Also, can be short for AIDS because uh, guys in the hood that have AIDS would mm. say, "You know, he's got the diabetes, right?" And I'd be like, "Oh, like the diabetes." Package. Oh, that's what it is now. Well, this is like ten years ago. The diabetes? They said they got the diabetes. Oh, oh. That meant like they got AIDS. Well, 10 years ago, we would say they got the package. Ah. Mm, mm. Oh. Well, Morgan Whalen arrested on three felony counts, uh, which I think is a little much. So the guy gets drunk and he yanks a chair out of like the eighth story window. Let me go to the article real quick. Um, by the way, if you don't know who Morgan Whalen is, big country star. Uh, he's got a mullet. Here's the mug shot, though. That's a decent looking mug shot. I'm surprised Nashville let him smile, though. I didn't think they'd let you smile for a mug shot. And Raleigh, you so can't. Oh, really? You can't smile for a mug shot. Yeah, I watch him laughing and. Oh, really? Looking all crazy. Oh, no, Raleigh, you won't let you do it. But you know what? It's only a very few people who mug shots look good. And the ones that have, once they got out of the jail, they became famous. Mm -hmm. Remember that I one dude with guy. the big blue eyes? Yeah, he was one of my students at my school. Really? Yeah, I was his SRO. He, no way. he didn't get in that much trouble in school. Right. But outside of school, he was a terrorist. But he, uh, <laughs> that joker, yeah. He, one with he tattoos on jail. his neck? The blue yeah. eyes? And had, blue he, eyes. Had, he had one blue and one oh, brown. Wow. Had a hazel eye and a blue eye. Wow. And I mean, not a bad looking dude. Mm -hmm. And that them eyes is what Got him a modeling career. He was wow. all overseas, over different countries and everything. Now Morgan Whalen, he sings that um, "Wasted on You." Am I wrong? Um, in the chats, help us out. What does Morgan Whalen sing? I know you. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> Wasted. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, all I don't. All of this time and all of this money. I think that's him. All right, that's him? Beyonce. Okay. Well, I mean, Beyonce with your country uh, song. Singing Nashville there. country yeah. music singer Morgan Whalen has been arrested after police say he threw a chair off the rooftop of a newly opened six-story bar in downtown Nashville. This is from the Alternative Press. Wallen, 30, was booked into jail early Monday on three felony counts of reckless endangerment 
endangerment, three felony counts, uh, and one count misdemeanor of mis disorderly contact. Metro uh, Nashville Police tweeted, the charges stem from a chair being thrown from the rooftop of the chief's bar and landing on Broadway near two police officers. Arrest evidence says the chair landed about three feet from officers who talked to witnesses and reviewed security footage. His witness told officers that they watched Whalen pick up a chair and throw it over the roof and laugh about it. Uh, Whalen was very cooperative. Um, he's known, he's like a big contemporary country guy. His third album, 2023, One Thing at a Time, was the most consumed album in the U.S. last year. It spent 16 weeks on the top Billboard 2000. But so, I mean, he got uh, drunk and he's gotten in trouble before, if I, if I don't. Yeah, he got in trouble in 2021 for getting drunk and shout, shouting racial slurs. Mm -hmm. But I still mm -hmm. like him. I mean, I for sure. Him. He probably just made. He won't say it to somebody, right? He just. I, yeah, I don't think so. I mean, like, listen. Does it make you racist if you get drunk and just use racial slurs, like in the comfort of your own home? We'll see. I'm gonna tell you what they what, just make I'm, you I'm racist. Gonna you, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what, folks. Say. Uh, because you know, when it's like when I get drink, okay, and they're drunk. True colors. Exactly. True. That, yeah, I think it is. My, oh, sober. Well, hold on. A a drunk man's a drunk man's words is a sober man's thoughts. thoughts. So yeah, when you're drunk, you don't have no feeling, no filter, no nothing. You just say what you also, want like, to that's say. That's one of my biggest fears because, like, I have an obsession with wanting to use the N word one time. Like, I just want to say it and get it out one time. No, I'm not going to. I've never done it. <laughs> I was thinking about it, dude. It would be like it would be like me trying to have sex. Like, how about, how, that how, good how, about I, how about I type it down and you just read <laughs> just, it in a I sentence? Just read. <laughs> like I want to be, I want to be an actor, so it's in the script, so I just get to say it. <laughs> you know what? Okay. I was watching uh, Django. I'm, I'm, I'm a yeah, yeah, Jamie yeah. Foxx fan, and Jamie said he, him and um, him and Samuel Jackson was talking with the, the what's his name Le Leonardo. Yeah, Leonardo. He had a problem with it. He felt so bad and did not want to say the N word. And Jamie was like, "Go ahead, man. It's all right. We, I know you. We all oh, know you." And blah blah blah. And he would, he just kept, you know, bitching about not saying it. And Samuel Jackson said, "Man, nigga, will you go ahead and say it?" <laughs> da -da -da -da, you know, like, and it just it was so funny. He said when he said it. After he got a first, got it out the first few times, he, 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 he didn't have a problem. He caught wind of him with doing it, but he said he's such a professional that he said that bothered him sure. saying that even if he was acting, he was being. No, a, a I, if, if I was acting, if I could do it in character, it wouldn't bother me a bit. Like I said, I'm not racist. I don't see myself right. being racist in any way, shape, or form. But I can see myself getting drunk and cocky, and somebody being like, "Just say the N word," and I'd be like, "But you, you, <laughs> you, 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 you know what? Well, it's funny because, I, of course." Uh, I grew up watching Sanford and Son and and uh, the Jeffersons and All in the Family is one of my favorite shows. But you know, Archie Bunker never said it. I've never heard at all. Excuse me, the episodes he he said all other racial slurs, but he never said the N word. Yeah, and it was funny because when you look at the Jeffersons, George Jefferson called okay. white people hungry, white yeah, yeah. red. I mean, he, you know, he he I mean, was just. I feel like rough if with I it. was, if I feel like if I was black, I probably would be. I would not use the word. But I mean, but yeah. unless I was trying to be funny. But if you're in a slave movie, oh, you're an actor, and you in yeah, that, or if you're that doing era, com that or era. if you're doing comedy yeah. or like you know a sketch, mm. like I can see because it is funny, like when. Samuel L. Jackson uses yeah. it and stuff, but like I, you know, how like just dudes just like throw it out there like all the time, like yeah. and we're well, this no, and we're no, that, no, and I'm, I was no, just like, no, I don't because know if I would do it. people look at you as, as you taking it too far. No, 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 not you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying there, there are on, on the comedy and on women. the comedy on the comedy circuit. Like, okay, one of the biggest white comedians out there who talks a lot about who has a big large black following is right. Gary Owens, yeah. and Gary Owens was married to a black woman, so yeah. have come on. No, they got a divorce, hey, yeah. no. and and his his, his kid divorce his kid, his kids are mixed, and his his daughter, as a matter of fact, his daughter go to uh uh um North Carolina A and T down oh, in Greensboro. Oh, okay. So, but he even talk about it. He was like, you know, can you imagine being in my family, being the only one that's not allowed to stop, say the n word, you know, because yeah. everybody laugh because they know he married to us, oh, right, right, right. and his kids are half and half. So you know they say it. They fling. It. He said, <laughs> I'd be in my own house and I can't even oh, talk and say what I want. So you know? funny but, because like all. All of his kids could say it. Yeah, he can't, his wife can say it. At that point, I'd be saying it. I'd be like, like "Fuck y'all, I go to 
that church and not the, the, the family reunions and everything. And I, I feel like you, say it. I feel like they should give you a card, like a like an ID, like if you earn it, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Like they should be able to, and then like if you say it, then black people can be like, did you just? I'll be like, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> and they're like, oh, okay, he's I good. Got he's permit. good. He's got his permit. <laughs> yeah. He's got his permit. But you training. can also like get it revoked. You know what I mean? Like yeah. once you like get it, you got to like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, now. Right? Yeah, you got to like hold on to it. If you use it too much or like you use it out of context, they can take it away. Oh, got to put a price on it. <laughs> but uh, about twenty, twenty, saying, twenty niggas for ten dollars. I'm not gonna do that. Like I want it to be special. You want to be loud. I want it to be special. I want it to be like a special moment. You know what I mean? Like light a candle <laughs> together. You know what I mean? Have a glass of wine. And then I just, you know, just say it. I don't even know how I'd say it. Do I practice? But see what you do. You just don't say it around people you don't know. Because you don't know never said how they're going to react. I mean, maybe when I was a kid, I said this it. This is what but. we need to do to you. I seen it just recently, too. You seen where the um, parents take the kid and put them in a room by themselves. So I'm going to leave you here by yourself and give you three minutes to say anything you want to oh, say. Cuss word, anything mm -hmm. you want to say. Yeah, and then let you be let. That's a good one. That would or, be such a funny or, video, too. Or we'll do one, do, do one where we, we leave in here and we go, <laughs> I come to pick you up and you come to the car and we get in and you be like, man, just vent to me. <laughs> so these motherfucking niggas, man, I can't stand these niggas. And then you get quiet and then, and then you look behind it and I got about four black <laughs> Guys in the back seat looking, just looking ready, ready to beat you up, dude. That would be so funny. Or she like gets you to do it. She sets it all up, right? She's got like that. She's like invites me over to her house. You know, she's got like a little table, just two chairs. I'm sitting the wine. there. She, yeah, she's got the wine, and she's like, "Okay, are you ready?" And I'm like, and she's like, "Just say it." And I say it, and like her son and like all of her friends like snap around the corner. And I'm like, oh. and they're like, "What do they flip the table over and beat my ass?" Oh, uh, but no, Morgan Whalen chucking this chair off of the. Uh, off the uh, the six story thing. Now listen, I mean, what was he mad about? Just yo, I mean, they said he was laughing about it. I mean, some guys just can't control their alcohol. You know, that's like you go to Vegas and people lose their fucking minds. But I, I you know, for me, it's like I have some self control here. I don't get the three felonies though. <sighs> I mean, I get it. A chair from six stories could probably kill you. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's maybe where the felony comes from. And Let me know. Officer. I mean, hit him, but yeah, but I mean, I don't care if it kills a police officer versus a regular pedestrian at that point. Like, it's a person. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't matter if it's a cop or a civilian. You kill somebody with a chair. It's just trying to have a good time in Nashville. I mean, that's sad. Me, what do you guys think of the chest? You think throwing a chair off the top of a building, you think that's uh, three felony worthy? I don't know. Maybe it is. I, I, I don't know. It would be hard for me as a cop. I don't know, man. I just, I hate ruining people's lives over alcohol, but also at the same time, people got to learn. So maybe you but do I mean, have to I give mean, them felonies, let them I, work I mean, it out in court. What, what, He's got the money. What, what's the difference of throwing a chair, hitting somebody? Well, he didn't hit anybody. Okay. But that's, but he got a felony for throwing a chair. Yeah, but you don't get a felony for driving drunk. If you, if you was a shooter gun in the air and that, the police saw me. I shot up in the air. Would I get a felony for that? No. He shouldn't get one that's in because it's this, yeah, because I could have hit somebody with that bullet. I don't know, but he didn't hit nobody with the chair. Right. So felony? Yeah, it's, well, I think felony's a little hard. State, Nashville, you know, Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, you know, Nashville. On the strip. I mean, states are different. States are different. And I mean, does, yeah. He does seem wasted on you. He does seem yes. wa wasted on you. I, I think yeah, I know that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, sing it. You're, you're a singer. Put you, put, you get us kicked off of YouTube. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, you'll get us kicked off of YouTube because you're so good. No, no, no. And they'll be like, oh, copyright. get the beat, right? That's all I say. I don't always wake up in the morning, pour myself a strong one. Oh, but when I get lonely, I do. Your memory gets burning, lean back on the bourbon. Sure is. Oops, can't keep leaning on you. Look leaning like I'm on you. in the hallway again. Leaning on, on you. Yeah, I, struck, I dropped the ball. You're going and I'm going time. Three hey, you're going to go for the whole win. song. Think I thought you were just going to do the chorus. Oh, well. All the time I wasted on you. Wasted on you. All of my time. All of this money. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I we tried. I can, I can karaoke. I can't. I ain't got, I can't yeah, we got to gotta have the karaoke. Yeah. You got to have the karaoke on there. Anyway, Morgan Whalen. I don't know. Let me know. Uh, Tyler says misdemeanor. No harm, no foul. As long as they didn't hurt no one. No felony. Uh, yeah, but dude, don't fucking do that. I agree with you, Will Cray. Like, I wouldn't do it. Uh, Ryan, that guy, Ryan89 says, I'm guessing the act is one act and almost hitting two people is attempted. Uh -huh. Reckless endangerment with a potential deadly weapon is a felony. I mean, yeah, I guess you're right. 
I mean, I had a drunk guy uh, go into the wrong house and sleep on the couch, mm. and they wanted to debate whether he was breaking and entering and stuff. And I said, yeah, it is. And uh, But I talked to the owner, and I explained to him that this guy, like, legit didn't know that it wasn't his friend's house. And his friend said, you know, that it was in this apartment and that the door would be cracked. And he went in this hallway, and all the doors looked the same, and the door was cracked. So I I don't think there was any intent, and all he did was go to sleep on the couch. Um, but then the DA, uh, I think, trumped me and still charged him with breaking and entering. Um, and my opinion on that was because he was white, honestly. Like, I think if he would have been a, a black person, they would have uh, – they would have not charged him. They would have woke him up with a thirty-eight. Very <laughs> 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 uh, guns pointed at him, like we did one time before. Did you? Yeah. Oh, so you know how I got the guy awake? He wouldn't wake up. I blew my whistle in his ear, and he turned around and kicked me in the crotch. And another cop punched him, mm. and I thought that was fair. And so they wanted to charge him with assault on an LEO because he kicked mm. me in the crotch. And I said, I'm not charging it. And I'm the officer, and I'm not going to charge it. And they were like, why wouldn't you charge it? I was like, dude, if you blow a whistle in my drunk face while I'm passed out on a couch, yeah. I'm going to wake up and kick you in the crotch. Right. I, there's no – there's like it's not even a question guy, if I don't try to shoot and you. And the guy that we woke up, he – Came in somebody's house, a girl, a female's house, went into her room, went in her That's panty drawer, different. and laid up in her bed, mm. snuggled up with her panties. Did she know him or anything? Oh. So he had to get up out of there. I mean, he, yeah. if she would have came home, well, she did. a little did. different. Like, I but mean, she, oh, I'm ready to beat that she ass she at that point. up out of there and called. And, and, yep. Oh. And what, is the, what is the fantasy about sniffing panties? I don't know. It just don't doesn't know. seem they like it would sniff the wrong ones. They were, right? Right, right. right. <laughs> Right. Catch at that time of the month. <sighs> Crazy. All right. Uh, moving on really quick. You guys just got back. Listen, I really want to get to this conjoined twins, Abby Hansel. There's a lot to, to break down here. So I, I want to leave us a, a lot of time before you do that. I do. I want to get to you guys' comedy stuff okay. first. Before oh, I, that's why I was going. That's going to be quick. That's going to be quick. Yeah, that's why I, I think it's going to be quick. Then we'll do an ad read and then we'll jump okay. over to the I'm Abby. I'm going to ask you this question. You right. give me a quick answer and everybody in the yeah, chat. Yeah. We got you chime in about it. Okay. You and your wife. Y'all been married. For a while, okay. Now let's just take it back to the day you proposed to her, and to show your commitment to your wife. And y'all both agreed. I don't know; it, it could have been her idea, could have been your idea, but I want to know: Would you have done it to show your commitment to your wife? Okay. Y'all would swap roles for your wedding. In other words, you wearing a wedding dress mm. and she wear a tux. Mm. Would you do that to show her as a sign of y'all commitment to each other? Me. I, I already tell you, hell no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to be a man and wear pants now. And she wears this dress because that's, that's how it is with me. I ain't, mm -mm. Do I get to wear her butt plug? Everything. Anything she got. Butt yep. plug. <laughs> <laughs> that's a white thing. I don't, you don't I know don't what know. a butt plug is? <laughs> no. no. A butt plug. Yeah, yeah it looks like, a, looks like an acorn. With like a stem on it here. I'll, I'll bring up a picture of a butt plug for you. <laughs> well, I thought, they got I thought, the girl in the dark butt plug. Pull one out, like he got one here or something. Like, what? You put it in your butt. Um, my Look, wife keep, had keep this friend. Fun. My wife had this friend that always had one in, and she huh? would always talk about it. It was awesome. I mean, it, it, um, my booty. Yeah, it goes in her butthole. I mean, and they wear it got, around. They go out on the well, clubs. What, what and if stuff. you got the pants gas? Well, you got a sensation to it or something? I don't know. I've never mm. worn one. Uh, if you're out there in the chats and you've worn a butt plug and you want to fill us in, uh, but here we go. This is a butt plug for you guys that don't know that are watching. There it is. Yeah, look at that bad boy. He must got some kind of. You got a vibration or something going? On? No, I don't think so. I don't know. I'm acting like I know a lot more than I do. Um, but I know you know how to look it up. Do you know that. how I first found one? Huh. They have the LED powered ones, and so that little ruby on the end glows in the dark. And I was working downtown Raleigh off duty, and these girls walked by, and they had this like you know how the cars have the glow underneath them. Uh -huh. They had this glow. Somebody ain't got no butt. Right. Anyway, you're having your butt, and you can you can see. Oh, you saying your butt would just wrap it all? It up. must be. I mean, it, 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 it's up in the hole. Hang on, I'll find that. I'll find the LED butt plug one. I mean, what if you got the shit, man? You, I mean, you got to pull well, the plug. I guess you, you, pull, I guess the you pull the plug out, out dog. Well, who wants to sit there and be pulling, putting butt hole, putting it in, yeah, in and out your butt? I don't know. What is a safe search on? Because oh, here we go. Uh, look, here we go. They look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this up for you guys. And this is like you know, like 99 percent of our yeah, followership is listening. That's in the butt. In the doo doo shoe. That's yep. in the. Shame cave. Um, what? you know, 99% of our people listen to this thing, but for those of you who are watching it, 
or if you're going to go over to to watch this on YouTube so you can see these pictures, just hit that like and subscribe button for us real quick on the old YouTubes. Help us out. But here you go. This is uh, this is what I saw in Raleigh. I was walking. They, they were walking by me. I didn't even notice at first. I was just like, wow, there's like a, a glow about these women. The and then all control. of a sudden, I was like, I asked the dude next to me. I was like, why is she glowing? He was like, dude, that's a glowing. That's one of them LED butt plugs. Now, I'm thinking that she got that in the front because ain't no way. And then she just flat. Like a pancake, there's no way that light. Well, she doesn't going. look like she's got a lot of junk in that trunk. She's about a size two. He's like, she might not... A size one. What do you think? Size one or two. And that's a pussy belt. That ain't even a skirt. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's more like a belt that goes around her vagina than it is a. I wouldn't let my daughter out like that. That's how you get raped. Oh, yeah. You know they, what I'm saying? They say, look at me. Look at this. Yeah. That's pretty easy access. I'm not for it. Um, let's see, we'll go to the chats really quick. Uh, Benita Morgan says, yep, she wears hers all the time. No, I'm just kidding. She says oh! it's gotta be in the front. I'm just kidding. Benita. Uh, Benita says it's gotta be in the front. I mean, maybe if you come I to the know. show, the mother's day show, I, I, I want you to bring it. <laughs> bring yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, oh, what happened to <laughs> there you go. So before we jump into these ad reads really fast, you guys were in Virginia for yep, a comedy yep. show and you mm -hmm. ended up opening. You? Yeah, um, I went to support him, mm -hmm. and um, I saw, since you they said, were like, "Is that Morgan Owens?" Yeah, you, you, uh huh? They were like, "Is that Morgan Owens?" No, no, is that Morgan Owens? No, it's just that you, you feeling the weather, and then he's gonna be gone. So I said, "I'll just go support him. You get yourself together." Yeah. And about fifty minutes, um, prior to getting there, he said that um, basically the uh the headliner's pers um person daughter had gotten a terrible accident. Oh and shit! Airlifter, and so oh. they asked me if he knew anybody. And he was like, "Well, I uh, got somebody on coming to, to uh support." And that's how I end up getting it. Just yeah. do you do clean comedy? I always do clean comedy. Always do clean yeah, comedy. Yeah. Are you doing clean comedy from Mother's Day? Yeah, I always do. I, I gotta do clean. Yeah, I gotta. Y'all gonna do clean? Okay. I'm hosting. Are you gonna do clean? I'm just gonna mess with the crowd. Here's the thing: I've never done clean comedy, so it'll be fun to try it one time. Oh yeah. So yeah, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna write some clean jokes for my now, first time. Now, the, now, the guy that the one comedian we have coming in now, I don't think he's going to be clean. I can tell him I can, I can no, 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 no. I listen, okay. I could care less. I'm just trying to be respectful to you guys. Oh, you know, because uh, it's Charles fans. It don't matter. They, they, I, I, we know the same people and they right. know they her style like, yeah. and they know my style. They know how I do it. I mean, I can do it clean too, but it's our stuff. So they, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. if it's theirs and they be like, real, can you, will you, do it? you know, no profanity. Yeah, of course. Right. You, you know, think you think if I bought a butt plug and put it in both my ears and let it shine, it that'll be dirty. I don't think a butt plug will fit in your ears. Yeah. Some people have different butts. I mean, you saw the different sizes. I, I mean, I don't listen. I, different sizes. That would be a very small. Like, what are you gonna get? Like, why would you want a butt plug? plug in your ear though? That would look like, funny. You'll put though. it in your nose. Just, yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> I think for research purposes, be snip, be I think for research purposes, you got to put one in for the day and then come back on the show on Tuesday and, and let, let us know, know how it went. I think I'm gonna be honest with you. I think it has some gives some type of sensation. Ain't nobody just sticking it there. Nobody well, you know, yeah. Um, now nah, I've never had it, but I've heard at my age I'm gonna have to get a prostate oh. exam. Yeah, yeah. And I heard they they go up your butt. Yeah. And. <laughs> Somebody said they're milking your prostate, and I said, mm -hmm. "What? How? You'll be sleep, milking your prostate? Like, no, 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 not when they be sleep. No, when they do it, they when they give you the prot, they they don't touch and they go. Don't touch and they go up your, I don't think they. Yeah. they don't, I don't they think they your touch your prostate. I don't know. That heard. I haven't had it done yet. But well, tell me how it I'm, goes. I'm scheduled, yeah, because they said when you turn fifty on up, you want to get your prostate checked. But they said that's how they do it. Yeah. And when they say milking your prostate, that's one way. Oh, are you getting off? Because they go. Can you get there. a girl to do it? Yeah, that's what a I would female want. doctor. Yeah, I'd be like, yo, get a female doctor to milk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> milk me, milk like, hey, me, baby. Them fingers, your fingers hey, too big. Look at them damn fingers. And then you end up right. coming in like every two weeks to get it milked again. They're like, you don't need to get it checked every two weeks. And you're like, yeah, I do. <laughs> you got to check the other side. Yeah, check, <laughs> check my other prostate. Uh, today's show brought to you by. Listen, if I'm going to get my prostate checked, I want to at least have it done on a ghost bed. Uh, I want to get all nice and comfortable. I like I'm a candles kind of guy. My wife writes lights candles before we make love a lot. She puts on records. She doesn't like it on the phone. She puts on a record. We have a record player right. uh, on the dresser. She puts on a record. She lights the candle on the dresser. And I mean, we do this like every other night, it feels like. Uh, actually, three times a day. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, but, you know, if I'm going to get my prostate examined and milked by a, a woman nurse, you can do home births. I want to do a home prostate exam. Just come on over. Give me a little prostate -y, a little milky-milky, <laughs> right? A little... 
right on my ghost bed, uh, which I got 50% off using promo code Wolfpack because they are ultimate supporters of first responders and people who like first responders. So head over to ghostbed.com forward slash Wolfpack today. Get the pillow. Look, I'm gone four weekends in a row. My kids will be skating with Temple and Richie Jackson uh, two weeks from now. Next week, we've got a UFC thing that we're doing. And then the week after that, like I said, we'll be in Florida with you guys, I think. And then um, – Oh, we have the Jackalope Fest coming up, too, that my kids will be skateboarding in. So anyway, I say all that to say I will be everywhere with my ghost bed pillow. I've got a travel bag for it. It zips up. It's sweet. 0% down, 0% financing. And that's if you have um, JD credit. So if you got JDRL credit, you can afford one of these beds, the mattresses, the cooling sheets, the adjustable bases. Uh, if you have Tansy credit, you're fucked. Not gonna get anything, but uh, if you got Jay, he'll trade one of his kids for a bed. I will yeah. trade. I'll you. I use my kids as collateral. <laughs> you know. Uh, we also got factormeals.com forward slash Wolfpack. Ryan just sent me a picture. Got all of his. Got his factor meals. Uh, his meal plans. This is meal planning to the next level. Fresh made. Fresh, never frozen meals delivered right to your door. If you want to do protein heavy so you can get jacked like me, you want to go calorie conscious so you can slim up like Margaret, or if you want to go vegan like uh, Jay Durrell over there, vegetarian. That's how he's got that smooth face because he's all up on that vegetarian meal. They have meals that will suit whatever it is that you're going for. Head over to factormeals.com forward slash Wolfpack50. Get you 50% off all your meals, meal planning to the next level. You ain't got time for that. You don't have time. Between core prep, shooting your gun, doing your jujitsu, uh, going to all the church events, all the things. Last thing you need to be worried about is planning up your meals. So get your body right, get your mind right with good night's sleep, get your body right, and then get a peace of mind with the wellness company, promo code Wolfpack. Listen, this is getting you squared away for the pandemic. You survived the eclipse. You did. You did it. You made it through the eclipse. Barely. We barely made it through the solar eclipse. It could have been bad. And listen, the power grid could have went down and uh, all the zombies would have raided all the pharmacies and you wouldn't be able to get your simple medicines that could cure fevers and flus, your malaria pills or your ivermectins, your z packs your monochloral antibody, whatever. These guys go to the wellnesscompany.com and get your survival med pack pre-prescribed to you in the case of a pandemic. Maybe you're traveling. They have the travel ones. Whatever country you're going to, they can they can guide you into saying, like, this is what you might need to take with you. This is what you might encounter there. So these things are super customizable, pre-prescribed by doctors to you um, so that you have that ultra preparedness. And um, cause that's the first thing that's going to go. If you're smart, that's the first thing you're, you're going to hit is the medicine aisle because, you know, in the uh, end times, that's what you're going to need, water and meds and food. So probably more important than bullets at that point because you can't shoot your way out of the flu. Can't shoot You can't shoot a fever out of your brain. Technically, you can. Technically, you can shoot your brain out of your head, which would then end the flu. But long term, long term, uh, it's not going to be a good It's not going to be a good idea. So head over to the wellness company. Use that promo code Wolfpack. All right, let's get into the story of the night. We got about 20 minutes left here, and this is going to take all 20 minutes of it. Mike Detcher says in the live chats, ammos and blue chews. Listen, in the end times, buddy, I'm going to be so hard. I won't even need blue chew. I've been waiting my whole life for the end of days. I've been training my whole life for this. So I'll be hard as a rock. I'll be a walking hard on. All right. Have you guys heard about the conjoined twins, Abby and Brittany Hensel? Yeah, I've been following. Like, they got married in like 2021, I guess. I didn't know that. Did they get married or one of them? <clears throat> one of them got married. <laughs> one of them got married. <laughs> um, I We all do. And I'm going to answer. I've been studying all day. By the way, this is the wedding. It looks beautiful, though, right? They're married? identical twins. Which one got too. married? That one is Brittany Hardest. I wish I knew. Oh, the ones I'm guessing the I'm one he's closest to. But, that's what I was thinking, but, but too. But that's how you would stand with me. He would be on the other side, no way. Why? Why? It, okay, she. If it was just one of them, would she be on that side? Well, you know, if he was married to this one, wouldn't he just go no, over there? No, I'm saying, if, if it was a, just a regular couple, just, just say one of them are not there. Right. Was that how they were staying? I don't Probably think so. Right, I mean, right, which means, yeah. So she, it could be. Well, no, no, nah, nah, they stand either on I the think, left. His or the arm right is side. around this girl right here, but whose butt is he touching? They he both could be got the same. They got unless, the same butt. Not unless she claims the her, the left oh. head one gets the left cheek and the right one get the right cheek. Mm -hmm. Well, I do have a graph here on how they share everything. Ooh. We're gonna get into this. this. Is deep now. I've got some questions for Josh Bowling here. He's coming out of a divorce, and this is why the story gets crazy because there is a paternity suit out against him from the ex-wife, where he was forced to get. 
a genetics test, a genealogy test. Mm -hmm. Who did? Yeah. Because shortly after they divorced, she had a baby mm -hmm. that she's claiming is his, but it could also be this other man who's noted in the suit. I'm going to get into all of it. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking either A, and this dude's in the military. So either this day, this dude A knocked his wife up and she, or she, and she was cheating on him and that's why he left. Obviously she's cheating of mm -hmm. some kind or were they having a threesome? And she got pregnant by either him or the other dude, mm -hmm. because I'm thinking this guy might be into threesomes. Okay, might be into threesomes. This I mean, he just married. I mean, is, is this a thruple? He got it in. Is this? I mean, that's a th that's a threesome, right? <laughs> I mean, what what all body parts they all share? Right, let me go over it. Did so, she got two coochies. So no, they have one. They so got they, one. Listen, they share, and these girls are super sweet. They're fifth grade teachers. Yeah, they only get one pay. Yeah, I saw that. And it's um. That's some bullshit. I know. Wrong. That is wrong. If, if one of y'all talking and you 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 utilizing my my left hand, but you doing the teaching, you utilize my left hand. Well, then there you go. Pay. They're gonna pay her half the pay because she's only using half her body, and then she's paying the other half, the other half the pay. They should take both of them. <laughs> yeah, for their brain, yep. you know. Uh, so well, with it, they share one rib cage. They have three lungs between the two of them. Damn. They have two hearts. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh. They have one liver. They have two gallbladders. They have two stomachs. So they have two large intestines, or they actually have one large intestine, one small intestine, but they have two left kidneys and one right kidney. So they have three kidneys. They share one pelvis. Kidneys? Yeah, kidneys. Wait, wait a minute. We probably yeah, have two. two. We have four. Four. Yeah. Two have four. No, I thought you had two kidneys. But yeah, two apiece. Right, but they got three. They got three. Mm -hmm. They have one uterus and one pair of ovaries, one vagina, and one urethra. And one booty hole. So if oh boy, the only thing he, I mean, he ain't really cheating because they all share it. Right. But unless he gets some head from the other one, that's the only thing I can say. Ooh. He cheat. I've got a lot of questions and it's hard to be like respectful with these questions, but these are questions that I have. And, and listen to curiosities and I'm not making fun of these women at all because I actually, I watched a lot of videos. I think they're really cool, wholesome, you know, but I'm a dirt bag. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm Would a piece you of date shit. One? I mean, fuck you yeah, dude. Like that, I, mean, I like twins anyway. Like, I got an right. obsession with twins anyway. You join them but together? I, I'm, oh my but gosh, my thing yeah. is, I mean, you know. I don't well, know if I can marry well, him. I mean, what if he, he in bed with her? With, uh, yeah, he, he's they've already done side his wife is. Right. And say, you know, I mean. The other one was on Facebook. Or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, that's what she said she, she does. She's doing safe. He over there gets head and she over well, there. Well, she says that, that, that when they're having sex, the sister reads a book. And he tries to ignore the pleasure. Damn. See, here's where I'm a dirtbag. I would be trying to go so hard that I would be trying to make them both moan. Right. Huh? They all got huh? the same thing, Majig, whatever. Yeah, right. Yeah. Now, now, if they had two, you could put headphones, sit on, do your thing, and you know somebody would Yeah, but I'd still be sneaking over. You're sharing the same jump. So that thing, when they get wet, they both feel it. They both wet. <laughs> <laughs> One got to get up and take a shit. The other day, they both shit. But see now they have their driver's license, which separate. is pretty rad. No, they have they both they yeah have they have get, separate well, driver's license. But That's one's true. in control of like the blinker mm -hmm. and the and the blinker and the oh. like windshield wipers. The other one's in charge of the you know braking, driving, and the see that's who crazy. Who's who feet? Who's feet? They can who's climbing the legs. Yo, I don't know because like, what if one wants to walk backwards and the other one wants to walk forward? Because I bet they can't run. Yeah, I bet it's hard. Yeah, they do. They got do two they? brains. They do have two brains and two spinal cords. And calls. they both got college degrees. Yeah. Let me ask something. Yeah. So is it possible? And they got three of whatever. If you think it's possible, and I'm pretty sure it's too late in the evening to be trying to do it. But they want to, I'm sorry, they want to get um separated and just have a. Yeah. So I was leg. doing some, I was doing some reading at, at the beginning. It was too risky. And they would have, the parents would have to choose which one would live and which one would die. And the dad was like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I can't choose. So that's right. why they didn't get them separated. Right. But they cannot be separated. They'll right. die. So or the chances of death are like super high. But then they would only have like one leg. They wouldn't have any leg. Like right. one, but, but you know, it would, I no, mean, it would make no it, sense. But they're really, like yeah. they work really well together. Um, but it would, be, it would suck if, if, say, if she didn't like her brother-in-law. I said she hated that motherfucker. She'll be, she'll be in her ear. Girl, you better go and say Yeah. Hey, but dude, Girl, when, when they talk. Sleep, he was trying to get uh, me to suck his dick. When they talk, <laughs> they, uh, 
So That's when crazy. they when they talk, they talk at the same time. Um, yeah, they gonna feel this. Yeah, that that ain't. So can join twins Abbey. This is coming from today. Uh, you, uh, let's see. This is uh, today.com. Uh, could join twins Abby and Brittany Hensel first gain national attention when they appeared on the Oprah Winfrey show in 96. I, I remember that. Now they have reached a major life milestone. Abby is married. The Hensel's later started in the feel good TLC series, which I watched a lot of today. Uh, it's called Abby and Brittany. Uh, a lot has happened in the last decade. Abby 34, like as if like they're both different ages. They're both 34. There is now married a court of public rubbers. Abby is a teacher and Josh Bowling is a nurse and a United States army veteran. Um, they got married in 2021. The sisters also shared photos of the wedding on social media. So the couple live in Minnesota where the Hensels were born and raised. Now here's, here's a big question that I have. Now, which one is it though? Like we said, the one but, close but, close. Is, but, but will the other one, what if she want to date and get married? All right. So now, yeah. So now you got another man. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He well, got how about chance. this? He can't. How about run. this? What if one gets? What if they get pregnant? Which one is the mama? Both of you. But who the dad? Who gonna be? The but dad? like, what if one wants an abortion? What if the other one wants to stay a virgin? What if? Ooh, <laughs> the, oh, <laughs> well, I mean, she married and be like, okay, girl, I know you married, but I don't, yeah, I don't want. I, I ain't married. I got so now you giving up the pussy, giving up our pussy, and I'm trying to oh stay a virgin until I get married. Oh, Yo, oh, that would be oh, that's a movie, there. That's what a lifetime movie. That, remember that? What if they want to stay rough? <laughs> oh yeah, like what? What if one's like choke me? <laughs> right, and the other yeah, one's like, like got two different hands, so. Dang, bro. Okay, how about this? Let's go even further. If you want to go like super dark down this, like, oh. what? What if they were like, at what point is it like, like you and I are conjoined, and I'm like, hey, you wanna, you wanna like finger ourselves tonight? <laughs> right. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. They, but Wouldn't that be like incest or something? Yeah, well, <laughs> like, I'm down guessing down, you would have to. Down because down I'm like, listen, like, like the 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 temptations are still going to be there. You have a brain, right? right. Don't all girls think about that stuff? Two, I don't know, but it's two brains, which means, like you said, if you ask me, like, no, nah, no, nah, I, I don't do that. Oh, I want to be a virgin. That really is going to. Yeah, right. but she could take the right hand. Like, let's say it was the right side one. I'll be like, fine, I'm going to finger myself. And you're like, bitch, don't be fingering yourself. Like, it's myself. Because too, she you know? can feel it. Right. They, 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 right. The they can feel it. Yeah, she would be sitting there getting But like, what if they both like talked about it and they both wanted to feel it? Like, which one does it? You turn on that record. Let's get it on. I guess, I guess that's when they get the rose. <laughs> Don't use your finger, girl. Let's get the rose. Like, who's got the stronger arm? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But what if they, what if, what if, what if, the hus- what, if the hus- what if, what if, what if old girl husband had a, a large dick and he wants her to put both her hands on it? <laughs> so both, the sister's jacking oh, them off too. He married both of them. He married both of them. Yeah, he definitely he did. Ooh, I mean, yeah. like he I'm, knew what he was doing. And, and Marine's bloodbath makes a good point. He says that uh, he he didn't notice that he was a Marine, but now it's making a lot of sense. Uh, yeah, because Marines are dirty as fuck. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you right now, any dude that's getting involved in that, I mean, I'm only hating because I ain't him, hate him, hate him because I ain't him. But like, any dude that's getting involved in that has got some sick, twisted shit going on. Got to. God, so. I already was in the army and he was a medic, but because I mean they would have said corpsman if he was in the Marines, <clears throat> and they keep calling but him he, a medic. But, but he, he's not. I mean, come on, it's not fair to them. But at the same time, Benita says it sounds like they need butt plugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I'm gonna get one. Yeah, you. I mean, listen, they deserve it. Look, I'm not Pretty shitting much. on them. I'm just saying. Uh, because I'm a dirtbag. Listen, I'm the dirtbag here. Okay, I acknowledge that, but I can't help where my my dirtbag thoughts go. And my dirtbag thoughts are like, I know that I gotta jerk off and have sex every day. Mm-hmm. It's one or the other. Like, there's not a day that goes by that I don't have sex or I don't jerk off. So, and that's been that way since I was like 12. So I'm just saying, if I had a conjoined twin, like it's something we would have to figure out. I'll be like, low, dude, like no homo, but like right. one of us got to jerk me off today. No, 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 check it out, check it out, check it out. What if they were male conjoined twins Yeah, and oh. one is gay? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and one is like, gay. You know what he getting into, so he would know what he was, she would know what she was. That's yeah, right. he. Yeah, he know what he's getting into. No, yeah. but I'm 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 talking about yeah, but if you're the the straight one and you sharing a butthole yeah, but and one, one girl ding-dong. controls one arm and the other girl controls the other arm, so she could literally just be like or like I guess in this case he could be like punching him. 
you know? What, the straight one punching the gay one? Yeah. Or like punching the gay dude that's going to bang him. Like, because the other Keep one, is, away. like, he could use his left arm and, like, be like mushing him and, like, covering his beat hole, booty hole. Yeah, like. but you, I mean, I ain't talking about they locked up in prison. I'm talking about, you know, if you join together I don't think and, I, and, and he, I like men. And then, and, and, oh boy, like, well, I like women. You know, I like men and I'm, I'm a bottom. Oh, hell no. I, I you know, either I one. No. The straight, if, I, if it was two guys, I couldn't date the straight one knowing that the gay one. I mean, the other one is dating gay guys because mm-hmm. they probably share the same. Yeah, they share the same body well, right, I saw right, this right. video um, like a year ago, like on TikTok or something, where it's like these two dudes and they look like they're conjoined twins. Well, and not. he's like, he's like, bro, should we should we do it? And he's like, oh man, I, I don't know. And he's like, come on, let's let's you know whatever, let's do it. And so it's like you see it, and the dad comes in, and the kids like, yeah. you know that? And the dad's like, you idiots aren't playing conjoined twins again, are you? And he's like, damn it, they both sit up. And the yeah, I saw that. Up. One. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> well, what about the back in the day when I was probably in the fifth grade? It was um, some black um, identical twins, mm-hmm. and they were jo- conjoined at the top of their head like mm-hmm. this. Oh so yeah, bodies, but the head is right. right. It was, I mean, and they share a brain. I think so. Did they share a brain? No, I think so. He just it was kind mm-hmm. of way the way everything was right, 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 right. They had a whole separate body. I think one got married, but still, like, yeah, that's kind of this for his worst though to be on the same shoulders. Yeah, yeah, it's um, I mean, I, oh. you know, but they look like they're having a lot of fun together. You know what I mean? Like, and maybe he's married to the one on the in the closer to him. Yeah, because he's always near the he one closer. Kissing neither one, because I'm telling you, if he was married to the one on the outside, her whole body would be turned, and it would just well. So, like, look at this one. He hugging that, but she hugging him. So I can't. Wait, let me see if I can share the screen so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Uh, yeah, so we can see here that her arm, which would be the right arm, is around the dude's waist, but that's the outside girl. It's not. Right. It's no longer the inside, the inside girl. girl. And then here they all are dancing. Now, one's in control of the right arm and one's in control of the left arm, but he's looking at this one. But, I mean, like, they had to share a dance together, like the first dance and the first night together. What? But that, that one is on the outside, which is who that is that he's looking at. Right? Yeah. Um. She's was grinning the hardest earlier. So yeah, yeah. Hard if you ain't the wife. Look. Damn. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I guess they're both like probably pretty excited that they're going to be getting it. I I find it hard to believe that she's just reading a book, ignoring it all. I don't think so either. I bet you no. she's smacking that ass with that left arm. You know, like I'd be like, "Yo, give me a hand. Like, help me out." You know what I'm saying? Right, Jay? I mean, yeah. Like, you'd be like, "Give me a reach I around." So. I mean, think, you know, think they're showering it. together. Yeah. So she oh. get to see her. Sister's husband butt naked. Yeah. Intimacy is oh, no yeah. privacy. No. I mean, what's she gonna do? Put even if she what's she gonna do? Put on earplugs and close her eyes. She gonna feel right. Oh, yeah. I mean, what they, he doing? I would just be involved. I'd get them both talking dirty to me. I this would be I awesome. mean, what what if I mean what if what if one, one of them was scratching into my black back? dudes? Huh? What if he was in the black dudes? Yeah. She done married a little white dude and now the other and then one, she other, can I use the N word, but the other one can't. You know, exactly. You know, so they, they they got a whole nother pattern of system that we got. They probably in together. Ain't no way. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, you, yeah, it's like, yeah, because even like when you're a teenager and you're going through all that, like, you know, you got to ex- explore and shit. Right. But would you want to explore something like that with your brother? Man, well, I don't know. Dudes, we probably would. But women, I mean, would, how would you, you remember when you, you were a, a kid? A, a, a head. Okay. Oh, what, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Your sister's name. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on, uh, Tasha. Tasha, what if Tasha, you and Tasha shared your body? Mm. You had her head on your, you know, both y'all heads up there, mm. and you know how she is. Right, right. How 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 would you get along? How would you get along? Oh with my god, the way she thinks. Or what about this? Like, what what if like you guys are just sitting there and you're like, why are we wet? What are you thinking about right now? Because you're like thinking about like math, and then she think about she six, must be thinking right. about something else. Oh, no. But y'all share a vagina. Like, Lord, take this cup from me. I mean, think about it. You sleep, and then she'd be like, oh, get up. I got to shit. You know, you'd be like, girl, go ahead. Girl, he coming over, girl. Well, I'm sure they got to shit at the same yeah. time. Right, sure. right, right. Well, yeah. Girl, he coming over here tonight, girl. I don't think I could do that. Thank thank you, Lord. I, I know, that. ain't it? Go, yeah, because this Ooh. is a lot. They must have got a whole nother. Well, they say that when they wake up in the morning that they don't talk to each other for like the first 30 minutes. It's they like a rule. Hmm? They breath stinking. Well, I mean, no, I think they just said that they want their like peace. 
and they're like they're you know peace and quiet in the morning. Can you imagine though she's sleep, she wakes up and, 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 and turn her head and see her sister <laughs> sucking her husband off? Oh You'd be like, damn. Girl. Yeah, but what if one one like so? This is Jarrett Balness, who's new in the chats. Never seen this name before, so I want to address him here. Um, he says there is no way that they did not come together when they orgasm. Well, for sure, right? And they said that they do that. They feel the same pleasures. One tries to ignore it, but here's the thing: is like, what if one's brain is thinking about Harry Potter, and the other brain's thinking about being railed? Does it like prolong the orgasm? Does the guy have to get them both on the same? Now, do they both fake it? It's weird. Or women, do they both of, fake yeah, it? A lot of women fake it. Can they squirt? No, no. I mean, I got questions. Like, I'm yeah. not trying to be rude. Right. I know it's rude, but I've already. I mean, my caveat to being rude is they, that I'm a girl, piece of 34, shit. Like, 35 years old. They probably heard it all their life. Yeah, all their life. They done heard it. And Hell. and then like you got to be wary of a like as a dad, you would have to be like. What's this motherfucker's intention? Right, 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 right. This must be it. Because, this, because it's like, obvious they're two different women. They think differently. Even though they're twins and they could join, they have desires and, and, and stuff like that. They understand they have to do it together I mean, it, or whatever. Yeah. And then, then what if what if she find? Well, she going to find out anyway because she's right there. Because if she find he cheating on her with her sister, but she already know it. You know what I'm saying? Right, and right. She wake that. up. Yeah, oh, you know, dude, you, like yeah. you could be like, you could be like banging the one and like staring at the other. Right. Oh, stupid. Mess yeah. around and call the or name. Or you could be like, yo, you Neither put on them get mad if you call the sister name while you're hitting it. <laughs> right. Like you try to get one a wig. <laughs> have a blonde and a brunette, <laughs> a bald. And look, somebody probably think we, <laughs> somebody probably think we picking at them, but we're talking about the situation. Right, no, listen, right, I'm right, not right. picking on them. Like yeah, I'm telling you, listen, if I were them, like about. here's what happened. This is like no shit. Like I'm a dirty dude. Like if God would have put me conjoined, I said, thank you, Lord. I would no, I would hate it, but I would like be, I'd because, be open about it. I'd be like, look, man, we bang. Just imagine like, if you was, I would just have to own and it. You had two dicks. That would be dope. Ain't that something? Ah, that'd be cool. You know what I'm saying? You'd be imagine if you were uh, married. To, uh, she'd be like, ah, gosh, you only went two minutes. Oh, I put would a girl went to, would that be like a girl? Long got the one. It's like insulin. You got, you got, the, the, which one has <laughs> the biggest one? <laughs> they be like, I'm not marrying you, I'm marrying your brother. <laughs> or it's like she marries you, but she's like, Can I just try your brother one time? <laughs> right. We do it. They, you're Margaret, they you're a girl. They're they gonna do it. They done thought about that stuff. They're gonna yeah. if if a guy had if a guy was conjoined twins and you just were raised with them in church or somehow and they had two dicks, uh, would that be more fun for you? One longer if than I was not a godly woman. I not, I'm not what do you mean? You are a godly like not, you don't think God wants not, them to be married? I know I'm saying if I was not, if I was okay. still trying to do my thing, I okay. would I, it, it was be. No, I can't say that because I never had a thought of being with two people. So no, nope. Never thought about. No, I'm saying like you, uh, you, you, you end up marrying them. Like it's godly. It's a, it's an ordained marriage. Like you're good to go. You married two dicks. Those are your dicks. They both had the same that feeling. Smell good, boy. I can't chew the gum. But um, yeah, <laughs> smell good. But no, but no, I, no. What I'm saying is, in other words, if I wasn't trying, if I wasn't doing trying to live life on living, then they might be an option, maybe. But I, even when I wasn't, I was so you think it would be a like sin that. to marry a conjoined no, no, twin no, no, with two dicks? You can't no, you're help who you fall in love with, though. What if that conjoined twin? Yeah, what, what if you, you better yeah. than any man ever treated yeah. you in your life? They're just, they're awesome. Just, he just, and they both look like Terry Tate. What's that guy's name? Uh, no. Who, who, who you like? Terry Cruz. Who the man you love? It's like who two Terry. Like? Uh, oh, Denzel. Like? Denzel? Uh, no. Two Morgan Whalens. Uh, no, okay. No, but, <laughs> but, no, but I, don't, I, don't, I haven't even thought about it. Who? Whoever's for me. Whoever. Just a nice, guy, nice looking guy. Who's a nice looking guy that's famous? That If you ever had a chance to meet Harrison you, Ford, you get googly eyes. Brad Pitt. Morgan Freeman. Okay, no. Denzel. <laughs> Did you die? No. He ain't Den dead for real. No, no. Why are you lie? Denzel Washington. No, I, I'm not really. Uh, uh, Adris Albus. Will Smith. No. Morris Chestnut. No, he like my cousin. No. What are you talking about? I can't think of that. You don't think any of those guys look good? They do, but they look like family members, some of them. Like Morris Chestnut, <laughs> like my uh, cousin Pete. I, I I can't. Are you into white guys or black guys? I, it, Mexican I'm guys. Into, I'm into whatever treats me nice and God fearing, not just. What you know, about like? What about what if he's, he can be? He come in like right there, right there. And I'm. What if he's Asian? I don't have. A, I don't know too much about them. As long as they don't <laughs> my tail. As long as they don't alcohol or crackhead and, and they godly, like, they be, they good. 
Okay. Yeah, so I can't think. But go ahead. What was the question? So, All right, so is it, like religiously speaking, you're in church. You meet this this Christian conjoined twins that look good. They treat you right. They, they love you. Um, they got to get married too. You don't, you think God wants them to, to be alone and not happy the rest of their life? I don't think. You I think could, it's a sin? I, 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 no, I'm not going to say I think it's a sin, but I, I don't think I could. Um, I would be the perfect person because that means that when one of them gets sick, I'm taking care of both of them. I just want, oh. one, I just want one mic. I want one husband. So, mm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Because you couldn't. I didn't think about that. You have to take care of both of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's not really. They're both you like know, right this, there this together. This is what get me though. What, what if the, one gets drunk? What, what now? What if one oh, die? God. What if one die? Oh, oh, fuck. you know what I'm saying? And you what if, you sleep? Did you plan? What, yeah. <laughs> Wake up! Look. Wake yeah. up! Oh, I don't think damn, you dude, no this is dark right here. Yeah. The Meg says, "Conjoin twins getting married, and I can't even get a text back." Damn. Oh, Meg. The damn Meg. Meg. As Meg, a, it don't matter. Do it, do it. I don't know if Meg's a boy or girl, but. Meg, are you a? Can you hear us? Meg, are yeah. you a, a male or female? Of the course, Meg. they can fucking hear the us. Meg, it's got a shark. It might be a. I feel bad for the Meg, whoever the Meg is. Um, Davey What's says, number, Meg? One of us will text you. Yeah, yeah, Meg. Like, uh, you know, you might be texting the wrong. Go people, ahead and Meg. text Jay. Jay will hit you back, even if you're yeah. a dude. Just pretend you're a girl. That's right. Catfish him. You know what I'm saying? And we'll um, go on the show. Mm, yeah, I don't think I will. Um, Oh yeah, what if one treats you right and the other one's an asshole? <laughs> right, the one treat me right is the one I'm not married to. <laughs> He's like, bitch, give me some water. And the other one's like, don't treat her like that. <laughs> He's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I mean which, which I, hand was always I mean, but, but just like what know, if he divorces one and marries the other? What He's like, he, I think I like Britney I better. Mean, you know, I'm divorcing you. I mean, man, we oh, love, I, me, I, I love sucking titties, so you, you, I mean, if you suck both of them, their titties, oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't, you, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, okay, say your head is on this side and I'm married to your sister who's on that side. Right. Am I going to have to just suck on that titty on that side or what if put my head? Or what if one of one doesn't, you looking at me? What if one of them doesn't want you sucking on that titty, but the other one, you know what I mean? Like, is it rape? Yep. <gasps> oh, what yeah. if one wants to have sex and the other one has a headache? Right. And you do it anyway. Is that right. rape? You know? Oh and no! Using her and the wife, and then the up. Dude, this I mean, right. but you would have to have these conversations before getting married. Hell yeah! They probably had it. And then they're still young enough to have children. They or what if this? Children. What if one's like, what, what if the one you're married to is like, man, I got a headache. I really don't want to fuck tonight. And then you're like, you look at the other one. You're like, you good? And she's like, yeah. Or oh, whose baby is it? They want to say that. They already know. Like, like how to know? That's your baby. That ain't my baby. Uh, no. But do like you said. What if one wait? There, wait, wait, wait. The Meg. The, the Meg says there's a whole American Horror Story episode about this. Really? Yo, are you serious? I'm gonna have to check that out. Then. Uh, by the way, Will Cray. Um, Will Cray's in the same boat as the Meg. Will Cray and Will Cray's a nice looking dude. Uh, one of the cooler guys we've hung out with at our meetups flew in here from I don't know, Minnesota, Montana, one of the M states. Um, that are way out there. Um, and th the fact that this dude goes to the gym all the time and like still can't get a girlfriend blows my mind. Um, but yeah, well, Craig, these are conjoined twins that are married and you're still single, homie. And you run the FTS Wolfpack Singles Group. So what's 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 um Will Craig's what's his secret, Will Craig? Oh, he's no, he's still single. You don't have no girl. What's his secret? He's like I don't know. He's young though. Oh. Will Craig, how old are you? By the way, I think he's younger. I think he's like 24, 25 or something like that. Man boobs are getting small. The Meg says, okay, so it's the circus episode with conjoined twins on American Horror Story. Uh, Meg says they're also in the gym six days a week. Dead leg legit vouches for Will Craze and awesome fella. Oh, and he co hosts on the Forever Road podcast with Diesel Jack. I mean, with Diesel Tech Bosco Autry. Dope. Oh, he's in his mid 20s. Like, he doesn't want to say how old he is. Like, it's a fucking secret. Nobody cares how old you are. There are people literally marrying conjoined twins. Nobody cares about how fucking old you are on the interwebs, Will Cray. Um, yeah, anyway, that's a lot. It's a lot to digest. Yeah. You know? I wonder how what long, if one likes spicy you... foods and the other one doesn't? I mean, and, and the, the bad thing about it, you know, you know, it takes a while, you know, to get to know somebody, but it's to me, it seemed like he had to get to know two people because it is two different brains. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, if you do the traditional yeah, way before, before, before you having sex 
with the person you try to, you know, traditionally you get to know yeah. them. But in the back of your mind, when you dating too, oh, and you, you know, you're checking them out in the back, you're okay, yeah, okay. They, you, you know, yeah. And not even that, but you have to, it, 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 the, the, the conversation, that's like a first date type questions that you have to ask yeah. on the first date because so how is that going to be if, a second what if, date? Like, what if you right. guys want to test out? Like, what if he's like, hey, hon, uh, my fantasy is like, I've, I want to try anal. I've never tried anal before. And she's like, sure. No. The other one's like, fuck hey, no. no. You are no. not putting that shit in my ass. Right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah they done talked it out. If they didn't, it's no blessing. Mm -mm. <laughs> like, Let me get drunk first. <laughs> Let me numb the pain. Drunk enough to do that yet. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. God. What if one save is saving holy and, 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 and Christian and the other and one will slut club. and want to go to the club? Yeah. Mm. You know, I mean, it's just so many things, you know. I mean, I guess that they're so, they're probably besties. Like, I hang out with these twins at my distillery and they're like best friends. Identical? Yes. Yeah. And they're besties, dude. They, they do everything together. Um, yeah, but they have the choice. They live together. They they, they, they have the opportunity. So I think if one like, wants to go, they can go. Yeah, but I think like God probably like puts it in their brain, makes their brains kind of the same. Does that make sense? Because they're conjoined. I, I don't think. Right. I mean, I'd like to think. Well, you know the saying. God don't put more on you than you can bear. Yeah, you know stuff like that, but. Oh no, man! I'm gonna go I watch this. Oliver, I asked Orson. Oliver that. That's Oliver. I said, "What if you and Craig was conjoined twins?" And, and the Meg said, says, "Hell no! They got to cut his head off." The Meg <laughs> says that they are a pos. Uh, we've literally been talking about making love ish to conjoined twins. So, uh, I, I think you're in good company with that. Speaking of good company, watched a really good movie with Paul Giamatti uh, this week. Forgot what it's, it's called. The leftover, the holdovers. Let, holdovers great movie good funny comedy kind of a feel-good movie it's called the holdovers absolute oh, just a brilliant I, movie I, I brilliant movies. movies paul giamani see about a boarding school during christmas and he ends up having yes, to stay behind a, a heavy set black female yeah yeah the one that played in um it won a bunch of awards she too. played um she played queen b you remember uh, dolomite is my name right. eddie murphy she was Queen B. She played Queen B. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Well, she did great in this movie. Yeah. She was fantastic. I just thought the whole movie was a very good feel-good story. Had a really good time watching it with my wife. Uh, she enjoyed it. It's really funny. Um, you know, it's wholesomely funny. You know what I mean? It's not like... It's a good family funny movie. It's really enjoyable, so I recommend watching it. We didn't really get into the new uh, uh, comedy stuff, but next week, I want to hear about you guys' comedy trip to Virginia. We're out of time for tonight. Um, for those of you who can't even find love in a conjoined twins relationship, I wish you all the best of luck and, um, you know, join our Facebook group, FTS underscore Wolfpack. There's FTS, uh, underscore fitness wolfpack fitness or something like that too we've got the uncuffed instagram we've got the last call instagram we got the regular failure to stop instagram i mean there's like little sub communities for everybody that likes every show so if you're into politics head over to the to the uh last call instagram page which is ran by deadleg um which i'm on it all the time too failure to stop regular um, of course we got all of the other podcasts on the network which is like anti-hero getting a grip on things um and all those other things. And then, of course, you got Bosco Autry, just a fan. Uh, he moderates all of our Facebook with Falconator. And so they're the, the moderators and the rulers of that. So, uh, you know, there's a lot for everybody out there. If you guys are first responders, stay awake, stay alive. We'll see you guys May 2nd at uh, Mulligan's Irish Bar just outside of Orlando, Florida, uh, during police cop police street street cop training um during street cop training thursday night uh after party with the anti-hero podcast uh and failure to stop c minus media network we'll see you guys then until then guns up giddy up peace